The AWS Toolkit for JetBrains Rider makes it easier to develop, debug, and deploy serverless applications to AWS right from your IDE. In this video, let's learn how you can use the AWS Toolkit to deploy a standalone Lambda function to the AWS infrastructure. Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome back to this YouTube channel. If you're new here, I make videos on .NET, Cloud, and DevOps. This video is sponsored by AWS and is part of my .NET on AWS series. The AWS Toolkit for JetBrains is an open source plugin that is available from the marketplace to install. If you're new to the toolkit, I highly recommend checking out my previous video where I show you how to set it up and also use it to create AWS Lambda functions. So let's switch over to Rider and see how we can deploy these Lambda functions that we created in the previous video to the AWS infrastructure. So here I have the AWS Lambda solutions open from the previous video. Let's deploy this to the AWS infrastructure using the toolkit. So let's navigate to the empty Lambda Rider function and navigate to the AWS Lambda tools defaults.json file. Here you can see the function handler for this specific function. Now this follows the format of the assembly name, the namespace and the full type name along with the function entry point, which is function handler in this case. So you can see this particular handler is in the function.cs file and it belongs to the DLL, which is named empty lambda rider, which is why this has the format of empty lambda rider, the full namespace name, the class name and also the type name. We will be using this to deploy the Lambda function. So let me copy that into my clipboard and let's navigate to the AWS toolkit on the left hand side. So let's expand this. Let's scroll down to Lambda and let's right click and say create new AWS Lambda. Now this prompts up a dialog where you can create the Lambda function. So let's name this appropriately, which is the name that's going to be in the AWS Lambda functions. So let's specify as empty Lambda Rider. Let's give this a description, empty Lambda template deployed from Rider. Let's choose the package type as zip. You can also choose it as an image if you want to deploy this as a Docker instance. Let's specify the handler. This is the string that we just copied. And let's also specify the runtime, which is .NET 6. Now you can configure the additional parameters, which is the timeout seconds, which is by default 300 seconds, and also the space available for this Lambda function. So let's leave both of that on the default. Now, if you want to specify any environment variables, you can do that by clicking this button and adding the values right from here. So let's right now ignore that, and let's select an IAM role. Now, since I'm deploying this for the first time, let's create a new IAM role. Now by default, this sets up a IAM role that gives access to write to CloudWatch. So let's leave it with that and let's give this a name as the empty Lambda Rider role. And let's say create. Now this is going to create a role in my account and assign that for this deployment. You can enable X-Ray if you want. We need to specify a storage bucket to upload this whole package from where the serverless application model or the SAM CLI will be deploying this to the AWS Lambda functions. So let's click the create function once we have specified all this, which is going to trigger the deployment process. So you can see here there is the SAM build that's happening right now, which is going to build, package and deploy this Lambda function. So you can see the output for this right over inside the panel. You can see that the Lambda project is successfully packaged. Right now it's building the artifacts, the template to deploy, and it's invoking the Lambda function deployment. Now this is completely deployed, so let's collapse this. Let's go into AWS Lambda and expand this. Now you can see here there is an empty Lambda Rider function. Let's also navigate to our AWS console and navigate to Lambda, and you can see here this also has the function that we just deployed with a description that we specified. So let's navigate into this. Let's go into test. Let's give it a test. So let's pass in a value hello. So all this function is going to do is return this in the upper case. So let's go and click the test, which is going to send that input and return the output right in here. So you can see hello as the output. You can also invoke the function right from the rider instance, right click, run. Let's specify an input for this. So let's specify the event template as hello and let's click run. Now this is going to run and give the output right here in the IDE. So you can see this has also returned us that in uppercase. 
Now with the AWS Toolkit, we were quickly able to deploy this Lambda function from the IDE into the AWS infrastructure. Now my account were automatically connected, which is using the credentials from the configuration file. I talk about this in the Toolkit setup video and also inside my credentials video. Now the toolkit also enables deploying the Lambda function right from the function handler. For this, let's go into the settings panel. So let's search for settings. Let's go to tools and let's go to the AWS tool, expand this and navigate to the Lambda section. So here you can see there is an option show gutter icons for all potential AWS Lambda handlers. So let's enable this and let's save this. Now, as soon as we do that and come back to our function handler, you can see there is a Lambda icon showing right next to the function handler in the gutter space. So let's select that. And here this gives us an option to run, debug, and also to create new AWS Lambda functions. So if you were to select this, this is going to prompt up the same dialog that we just used to create the Lambda function from within the toolkit. So if you want to deploy a function right from the function handler, you can use this method. Now, if you navigate to the SQS project function handler, you can see this handler also has the Lambda icon in the gutter space, and you can deploy this to the AWS Lambda function. Now, if you want to update this Lambda function, so let's say we made a change to our function.cs in our empty Lambda rider project. So let's change this to be as hello, and then pass in the input. So let's use string interpolation. So let's specify to upper and let's return this back. So in this case, it's going to take an input and return it with a prefix of hello. To deploy this further into the Lambda function, so let's go into the AWS toolkit. Let's right click on the Lambda function and let's say update function code. Now in this case, this is going to automatically populate the handler because we have already deployed this once. So let's simply click the update. Now this is going to trigger a build using the SAM CLI again, build a new package and deploy this to the AWS infrastructure. Now the deployment is complete. So let's come back to this Lambda function. Let's right click and let's specify run. And now this is going to return back the hello, hello, which is the string that we prefixed with and also the input that was automatically given. So if we navigate into the AWS console, so let's change this input as world and let's click test again. Now this is going to invoke the function and return back the result, which is going to be hello and world is capitalized. So we have successfully updated the Lambda function as well from the Rider IDE. So if we navigate back again and right click on here, you can see you also have the option to update the function configuration. Now this is used to change any of the properties that we set on the function, including the handler endpoint. So if we change the handler endpoint, let's say from function handler to function handler new, and if we were to try and update this without changing the configuration, it would fail. So if I say update function code, let's say update, and you can see now there is an error which says must be able to locate the handler in the project in order to deploy the Lambda. So we can fix this from here. So let's say new and let's click update again. And that's going to deploy this Lambda function using this new function handler. So the deployment is complete. So let's switch over back to the AWS console. And for the same input, let's test this function again. And you can see this is now returning the correct answer. So if you go into the code section, you can also see that the handler information is right now updated and it is using the function handler new. I hope this helps you to understand how to deploy Lambda functions right from your JetBrains IDE. We saw how to create a new Lambda function from the AWS toolkit and also from the Rider gutter options by enabling a new setting. We also saw how to update the existing Lambda functions using the update functionality. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button. If you want to be notified of future such videos, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. This also helps me to grow this YouTube channel. Thank you and see you soon in the next video.